So he's done all this work and looks the way he does and keeps himself up the way he does and is all of these things. And because you feel like you deserve a man like him, he has to do what you like to refer to as settling. He has to settle for you. Now make that make sense. Hey everybody, I'm J9E. Why? Because I said so. I want to take this opportunity right now to point out what has just happened. So now two ladies, Kevin Samuels, <laughs> he is gone. He is gone. There was lots of animosity. There was, you know, I don't want to use the word bitter because I feel like it's triggering, <laughs> but you know, bitterness, <laughs> anger, you know, just resentment, whatever the word it is, negative, negativity, right? Uh, coming from him. And it was like, just this constant thing of this feeling of these people kind of just kind of capitalizing off of him being good at being a jerk, right? But he's gone now. Okay. So, so let's just process that, right? He gone. Ain't it come, no, no take your backies, right? And no, no, there's no comebacks. So he's gone. So now I would like to take this opportunity <laughs> because I see something. Now, sometimes when uh, a lesson needs to be given, if say, say the lesson is necessary, right? But the teacher who the school brings in to teach it to you, is like also he's, he's teaching the lesson but he's also punching the kids in the face too so now <laughs> what happens is the message gets lost all of it the whole thing any any part of it kind of gets lost and and you get to throw away everything that he said everything because he was punching the kids in the face now so <laughs> the students in the face so now with that being said what I would like to do since he's gone, we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's gone. Like the, you know, like, like the boogeyman under your bed and then your parents come in and you say, it's something under my bed. And then they look and there's nothing there. And then, and then they show you and you see there's nothing there. And then you can go back to sleep now because you know, there's nothing there. Kevin was the boogeyman. He's not there anymore. Right? So, but <laughs> no, that also being said again. Okay. Um, there is some work to be done. Now, the the reason why men flock to him so much is because they could relate to this shit that he was saying, which means that they are feeling those things that he was saying. Now, of course, you know, we all know, all of us ladies know that some niggas was just skating on that shit. They was the niggas that was horrible, but they was just skating on it and using it kind of as a tool against people. Well, we're not talking about those Negroes. We know, we know about those. Okay. You know, one of those, when you spot them, we're not talking about those. I'm talking about the, 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 there's the, there are men out here <laughs> that actually men out here who are feeling like they are getting the short end of the stick. There's nothing that they can do. They can't balance the boy. They literally, you know, they're not, not all men are built the same. Now, so I'm not going to overload you with a bunch of random, uh, 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 you know, general things. I'm going to give you specific examples of things to kind of, you know, kind of process, swallow it, see how, how it feels in your stomach. <laughs> no pun intended. So <laughs> maybe a little pun, little pun, little pun, little, uh, little pun. Um, so if a guy asks you what type of man, if a guy asks you what type of man you're looking for and inside of your answer is uh, something generally like wealthy, okay, and you are not a wealthy person yourself, that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh, you know, we would some might call that just standards. That's your the standard of living that you're looking for and wanting. This is what it would have required. Fine. That's fine. You know, that's just what you want. What, whether you're going to get it or not is a whole nother ball game. But, you know, just what you want is, it's like, I want to be a unicorn. I know they ain't real, but I want it. Okay. So, you know, we want what we want. 
But if a guy asks you that and you name money and you don't have money, and then he says, well, why do you want a guy with, why do you need to have a wealthy guy? And your answer should not be, I don't mean to police you. I'm not trying to police your words. I know that's a thing that they say these days. I'm not trying to police your words, but if your answer is because I deserve it, <laughs> hmm. I'm just going to point out, I ain't going to call you names. I'm just going to. Just gonna point out to you, there isn't anything that you can do to deserve what someone else has earned. Like that process, you can't you can't deserve someone else's rewards that they've gotten from their efforts. Yet, yet you know, if that's the case, then his he 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 needs to give half of his money to his mother. <laughs> like if. If you come along and you have you feel like that you are entitled to this man's like results of his work, <laughs> you deserve it. Like, like the, and it's the word. It's the, it's the it's the it's the wording. It's the, deserve it. How do you get to the point where you deserve someone else's shit? This is. It seems like what a burglar's thoughts would be right before he broke into someone's house. Like. I deserve to have that Xbox. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so just want to point it out. Terrible answer to give. May want to check that and just realize that you can't deserve someone else's stuff. Now, if you have worked hard and you have lots of money and you want a man who has like is in the same situation, then you could say, I, because I deserve it. And that, that would make sense. The reason being is because I've worked very hard for what I have. And so because I have worked this hard for what I have, I want to have someone who can match that because I don't want to lose what I have. Right? So you want someone who, 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 who's matching. Right? Now that would make sense. Now you, yes, you do deserve. You deserve to have someone on your level. Unfortunately, Kevin was right about that. Okay? You deserve to be where you are. That happens to be where you are. If you have hardly anything, you deserve to be that. Now, if you have nothing and someone with a lot comes to you and says, hey, I see something in you. I want to invest what I have in you. Then that's up to you whether you want to accept that or not. But you are not deserving of that person's stuff. You don't, you don't deserve another person's shit. <laughs> So I don't want to stick on it. Not, not poking, not poking at you, but I just wanted to point that out, throw that out there, you know, chew on it or whatever. Okay. And now my next one. Okay. So if a guy says he wants a certain type of woman, be whatever the description is, right? Whether it be physical attributes or other attributes, most of the time it's physical. <laughs> And you don't actually, you, you like, they're saying it to you and you don't fit the bill of what they're saying is, is, is what they want, um, to give them the business because of their preference is, is a little bit insane. It's a little insane. Now the, the reason why is because you know, damn well, <laughs> and I don't care who you are. You know damn well that you would not want someone to police your choices in that way and tell you whom you can like, whom is attractive to you. You you know that. You would not want that. You wouldn't want it. Like like your type is whatever your type is. It is. Like if you're a poor chick and, and your type is, is rich people, that's fine. Just don't, I, I can't say don't think you deserve it. But what I can say is, don't say that shit out loud. <laughs> don't say I deserve because I deserve. It sounds crazy. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go back there. But that is just one of the, it's just in my head. It's stuck in my head right now. So that's why I went back to it. But yeah, so, you know, like you don't want a short, like I think some women said they don't want a short man. I don't want a short guy. You gotta have big dick energy, right? Like we have all these things that we know it. We have all these little things that we 
that we just like and we you know like ooh the, the thing that make you go ooh you know like we all have those things that make us go ooh so if a man says I couldn't date a girl who's bigger right or I don't like a girl who's had plastic surgery or I don't like a girl with tiny boobs team me <laughs> whatever the thing is you have your own as well and it's crazy that you get mad because you do not meet the criteria of what someone else desires you you're not meant to be desired by everyone you only need to be desired by whomever it is that you end up with and if you meet somebody and they you're not their type then that's not it okay so uh, you know like it's just stay in the realm of reality and the reason I want to point these things out right now is I'm just going to give a couple of examples of, of this thing is how they come up with this thing, but they say delusional because those two things that I was two types of things that I just named, they sound delusional. It is the delusional think a thought process. It is. It's not a theory. It is. Okay. <laughs> that is delusional. Okay. So, and, and, and keep in mind, yes, Kevin, I will reiterate, Kevin is gone. Ding dong, the Kevin is gone. But another Kevin will sprout up in its place if no lessons have been learned here. Now, I've gone through this with plenty of people, talked to plenty of people about it, and I can tell you it still comes back to women need to be not checking. I won't say checking each other, but we need to be you know, teaching and leading and, 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 and helping and, you know, each other as the men need to do with themselves. And this is how it got all awry because men are walking around trying to preach to fucking women in a, in the most toxic way when women are naturally rebellious. And I can't say that enough. We're naturally fucking rebellious. Just, we're like, dare me, dare me, nigga, dare me. Like that's a, that's the life story. So we, if we don't do it to ourselves with each other, then we're going to end up with a whole nother nigga in a whole nother different type of outfit, just pushing out this type of stuff. And this may be an opportunity to kind of simmer this stuff down if we decide to take it, if we decide to take it, but we have to decide to take it. Like, you know, we got to be like Michelle <laughs> Obama and take the high road. I, I don't particularly prefer the high road. I like the low road. I like to roll around in the fucking mud. You know what I'm saying? But you know, just to keep us from having to deal with a whole nother Kevin, I think it would be worth it, ladies. I think it would be worth it. So just something to think about. You know, accountability is not a bad word. It's not. It's where progress lives. It's where progress lives. That's where get better lives, right? Possibly being, com being able to be comfortable with who you are, and, and kind of stay out of other people's way and, and, and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, most of these dudes that had us out here all pissed off were niggas that we didn't even want. And then let that sizzle in your spirit. When a gremlin, a troll can walk up to you and make you feel some type of way. That was the power that this whole thing had. We were getting upset and behind men that we didn't even want saying these things, like, to us. So... That's the power of that type of thing. So unless you want a whole nother one sprouting up, let's just go ahead and start nipping this stuff in the bud. Being realistic. No more delusional stuff, okay? You see, you got a girlfriend, you got a homegirl, and she is a hot fucking mess talking about she wants the top of the food chain. She wants to play at the top of the food chain. Check her. Check her. Let her know. No, do not tell her yes, girl. No, no. Remind her, okay? That's fine. I, I, I'm glad that you are motivated and that I'm, it's, it's nice to know that you, you know, are aiming high, <laughs> but understand that that's not a realistic expectation for where you are right now. Okay. So are you planning on doing anything to make yourself, you know, to where that would be something that would make a little more sense? You know, like, why do you think that a man should want less than you do? Like you want him because you feel like you deserve him. So he's done all this work and looks the way he does and keeps himself up the way he does and is all of these things. And because you feel like you deserve a man like him, he has to do what you like to refer to as settling. He has to settle for you. 
Now make that make sense. Just saying. Just saying. It's just something to process. Do not take offense to this. If you do, you will not learn anything. And we're going to end up with a Kevin 2.0. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to keep this one short. Like. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.